Hi, folks. This is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report. You know, I, I've mentioned this before that this this time of the year is is really really special because it affords so many of us a chance to fish and to fish together in ways that we can't once the season progresses further. Once it starts getting hot, though everything changes, and those fish a lot of times will leave the areas near the shoreline where they are right now. Most species are gathered nearer the shore. So what happens is is that you can you can people can go out and enjoy fishing right now by just being on the bank in their easy chairs that they couldn't do later. And so let's talk about something else that goes along with this. You know, no matter where I go, people tend to recognize me and they ask me about fishing. And so I asked them about fishing. And I got to tell you an incident that happened the other day. I was walking out of Walmart and I, and a lot of times we don't have bags now and we, we gather the things and we're holding them in our hands and I have my receipt. And there was a guy positioned at the door for Walmart with his mask on. And he says, can I look at your receipt? And I said, sure. Or I said something like that. And then we got talking and he recognized me and, and he said, you know, once, and I guess he worked with the Coast Guard and he said, once I wanted to get with you and ask questions or you answer questions about something. But he said something else that led me to say, well, do you like to fish? And he said, I love to fish, but not for the fish that you would think. He said, my favorite fish are perch. And he said, I can't explain that because this is a quote now for him. He says, I love spin casting, and yet you don't think of that for perch. Well, I'm not quite sure what he was talking about, but what I do know is that he seems to be typical of so many people in our area. We, we think of our area as this great bass area, great walleye. The muskies are bigger than any place else. But a lot of local people could care less about that. For them... This is what fishing's about, getting together, relaxing on the shoreline, being able to be on the shoreline. And if you want, sort of walk away, move around, have your rod laying down there on the ground, whatever. It's a whole different type of fishing. And then if you look at the species, this is when huge masses of panfish, of smaller fish. And panfish, when we're talking about panfish, I mean fish that you can fry in a pan. You know, they're small, sunfish, bluegills, crappies, perch, those kind of fish. And those fish are more prolific and they're spawning in the numbers that, that, that uh, result from that. And yet they're prey for all the bigger fish. So there's a lot of them around. And so people that are fishing right now for these fish, number one, they catch a fish that's delicious to eat. Number two, they can tell stories and they can joke and they can eat, eat their sandwiches or cook meals while they're fishing. They can do all these things. And they enjoy catching these kind of fish. A lot of times even more than all the struggle that goes on, all the, the strategy and all the pressure that goes with catching sport fish. And I think this is important to know. It's important to think about. And again, you know, I think of all some of the things I might tell you about the, the techniques of catching fish. But when it comes down right now to the type of fishing, whether it's bullheads or crappies or perch or whatever, it's more about just throwing that out there, that piece of bait. Who cares what kind of rod and reel you're using? Most people have a bobber. They can look and they can see the bobber dip in the water. It's a different experience, but it's a great experience. Until next time, folks, this is Don Meisner with the North Country Fishing Report.